That is a 3D printed vacuum cleaner that I built for the Dremel CNC and right now I want to build something a little bit similar for the laser cutter. I mean, here is laser cutter. <laughs> is to basically copy this thing right here but we don't have to use the fan we don't have to use the motor and power supply because right here I will connect a vacuum cleaner and you may say but wait if you use a vacuum cleaner you can just simply use it without this whole thing well yes I can but this vacuum separator because that's how it is called will let me save some money on bugs for the vacuum cleaner because I can collect the trash here and then throw it out instead of using bugs and it's also more eco-friendly I will also use slightly bigger hose so that I can collect bigger things and maybe in the future I will use even bigger one um, and also a bigger box on the bottom probably a 10 liter bucket because it will be more stable and I will be able to collect more stuff So hopefully I have right now everything to make this project. We have a big bucket with a lid. We have the hose, it's 20 something or 30 something millimeter one, uh, this time blue one. Uh, it's very, very cheap, so we can buy a lot of this uh, just in case. Here I have 3D printed parts. Here's the main vacuum separator thing with two nuts right here so that we can connect it to the lid. And in a second we'll cut a hole right here with a laser cutter. So that's, that's how it looks like. It's yellow this time. Uh, it took 16 hours, I think, to print it. And the quality is not super great uh, because I wanted to print it as fast as I can. So I just crank up the speed a little bit. Uh, and here are two very, very interesting elements. Those small two black elements. Uh, the one is actually an adapter so that I can connect this hose right here. This blue hose will go right here. And I decided to go with the adapter because if this hole right here is bigger, you can actually use it with any hose you want. You can use a bigger hose, you can use a smaller hose and different adapter. Uh, so that's why I decided to use it because in the future I may replace it with bigger hose or you can use any hose you want. And here is the second thing. This is an adapter for the vacuum cleaner. Also, you can print it smaller, bigger, design your own and connect any vacuum cleaner you want right here. And those two small black elements are actually printed with a very, very interesting filament, it's called PP, and the manufacturer of that is Fiberlogy, they actually sent me this filament, and it's very interesting because it's a little bit flexible, it's like something in between the PLA and TPU, because it's not as flexible as TPU, but it's also not as solid as PLA. So a very, very interesting material, and it's actually quite easy to print with this thing. Uh, there's a little bit of wrapping going on, and you need a heated bed, and also about 240 degrees on the nozzle. Uh, but it's, it's quite easy to print and the results are amazing and I like this material a lot. I will experiment with that in the future a little bit more and maybe, you know, create some cool projects. So this will go right here. This I have to attach right here with the screws. Uh, here I have the screws. Here I also have the bucket. So now let's cut a hole in this lid and connect the cyclone separator to this lid.
I just noticed that this bucket is made out of PP. PP is very popular in manufacturing because this is a really good material from what I know. I don't really know a lot about it, but it's cool. So those parts are also made out of PP. And because the lid is ready, I mean the top of the bucket, we can just simply connect this thing to this. And the cyclone separator is ready, we just need to connect it to the bucket. Cutting the plastic with laser cutter is super simple and you can achieve really nice results. Like, take a look at this. The edge of that is just perfect and also the circle was perfect because last time I used this very odd drill bit. And I broke this lid so I had to use the tape as you can see here. So right now using a laser cutter is way easier and you can achieve great results. As you can see, it's, it's quite bigger than the last one, the last cyclone separator. And now I just need to connect the hose, the blue hose and the vacuum cleaner and we'll see if it actually works. I'll put a GoPro right here in this bucket and maybe that we will be able to see how cyclone separation works. Let's take a look at the GoPro. This GoPro footage and especially this slow motion one is so dope. It's like it's so visible how this cyclone separation works that I don't even need to explain it. Really happy with it. Uh, and I prepared some Christmas ornaments that I will cut on a laser cutter and we will test how this thing will work uh, with picking up those small elements that are basically trash. So let's just turn on the laser cutter and cut some stuff. Christmas decorations are ready and now I will see if actually this vacuum cleaner will help me with picking up uh, those small things right here because as you can see after taking out this thing here uh, I have those small ornaments but all of those small stars and circles and all of the details are still here and if I would like to pick every single one it does take a lot of time when you have just like six ornaments in here, it's not a big deal, but usually I cut about 18 at once, so that's quite a lot of work. So let's now turn on the vacuum cleaner and clean this thing. Here is another example, someone uh, ordered something like this some time ago, and this is just a heart with a lot of circles around the edge and after cutting you have a lot of small circles to clean uh, so the vacuum cleaner will be just perfect for that such a nice feeling when the project just works out of the box on the first try and there's even nothing to complain about. That's one of these, I'm really happy with this thing. 
uh, it just works perfectly well and even if you don't have a laser cutter and you don't need this thing for such specific use as I do you can just simply use it with your vacuum cleaner to save some money on the bugs if you need fusion file or step file of this project you can find it on my patreon I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you would like to see more of my projects here's a playlist thanks for watching making bye